Good morning, dear friends. The Future Trend Channel is again with you. And this morning we'd like to pay attention, of course, on the data uh, coming from the United States, uh, where we uh, expect, uh, where we expect uh, the release of uh, United States Consumer Price Index. Taking into account that the last portion of inflation data from the United States uh, was not very good, as you know, the inflation of uh, the average hourly earnings from the last payrolls report uh, was uh, a little bit lower than expected and uh, of course if today's uh, inflation data in the United States confirm uh, such kind of picture of benign and neutral inflation in the United States of course it should dampen future expectations regarding more aggressive stance hawkish stance conducting by uh, the Fed's uh, Federal Open Market Committee meeting. Anyway, uh, the data will be should be published at 12:30 uh, Greenwich time, and uh, uh, we expect that ahead of these numbers, uh, the major currencies should be, should be more or less um, subsided, uh, subsided, in, um, and that's why we don't expect any kind of big movies just before of the data. But of course. After that, uh, the volatility should go much higher, and of course, we suggest that the pair uh, will uh, go in one direction or the uh, other. Anyway, regarding, regarding the euro dollar, we still uh, keep our long um, euro dollar trade recommendation accumulated uh, uh, during uh, Friday at 22.90 with a stop below 22.60. We'd like to pay your attention uh, that uh, longer term trend still up in the euro dollar, and uh, we uh, suggest uh, that uh, the break above uh, recent uh, resistance, uh, the first uh, uh, kind of reliable resistance uh, located at 2360, should accelerate the uptrend in the currency with another kind of resistance around 124.50. Break about 124.50 should eventually uh, lead the currency to retest uh, the highs of this year at 125.55. But longer term, again, we still expect that uh, sooner or later retest its uh, longer term downtrend, which we could see on the weekly chart. And this downtrend located today, let's see located today at uh, around uh, 2640. This is our longer term target at, in the euro dollar at the moment. The dollar yen, we still, uh, besides of the political scandal in uh, Japan, we still expect that uh, the dollar yen should, uh, in the longer term run, should go lower and uh, sooner or later we test the psychologically important barrier and uh, reliable kind of pivotal support around 99 100 but it's longer than speaking but uh, from the point of view from the point of view of today's market probably it will be interesting to sell the currency on a possible uptick to its um, first uh, reliable resistance zone 10790 with the stop above 10820 uh, 10830 uh, excuse me this is our strategy at the moment in the currency the cable is more or less neutral it's um, short term downtrend lies at 3930 and break above this level should relaunch the uptrend in the currency as you can see on the 4 hour chart it's a really very nice picture yeah, as you can see uh, the pair already three times retested this short-term downtrend so break above should relaunch the bullish uh, longer-term trend in the currency and the dollar swiss finally we still keep our short position with an average price around 94.50 and we still expect that while the pair is below its uh, major resistance zone of 95.35 we still expect in the short-term run the pair will will be back to the downside see you later with our another another analysis regarding euro crosses